Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I will be doing this everyday makeup look for people with larger eyes. I've always found that minimal makeup never really looks good on me because I have larger eyes and when I do minimal eyeshadow or minimal makeup, it always looks like something's missing and I could never figure it out and I just never felt, I just never felt like a bad bitch, okay? I never felt like hot fire when I wore minimal makeup so that's why I always do very extra glam looks because I just feel the most beautiful in those looks I feel the most fire okay you feel what I'm saying so I don't really wear makeup every day so this is like my everyday makeup look when I feel like doing makeup but I don't really feel like going all out with the makeup and I don't really feel like being super glam but I feel like being done up I don't feel like being dolled up okay I feel like being done up but I don't feel like being dolled up okay this is that makeup look so without further conge if you are interested to see me create this everyday makeup look that's very wearable for people with sort of larger eyes then keep on watching and i hope you enjoy this video <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start off with some skin prep. I'm taking this Bling Pop Peach sheet mask that I found at TJ Maxx. This has become one of my favorite Korean sheet mask brands. This sheet mask just leaves your skin so hydrated, so plump, so glowy, so luminous. I love it so much. I personally use sheet masks every day, but I would highly recommend you incorporate a sheet mask into your like makeup skin prep routine. I love sheet masks. I feel like they just... They're so good for the skin, and I just take that excess serum, run it down my neck because we cannot forget about our neck, girl. So I just leave that on for about 20 to 30 minutes, depends on what I'm doing. And then I just pull it off and press that excess serum into my skin to ensure every crevice of my face got that needed hydration. Moving on to makeup, I've already done my brows off camera and again, I'm just going to prep my skin real quick for the last time with this MAC Fix Plus Spray. I just love a very hydrated base before I start my makeup, so that's why I'm so extra with it. Um, for the foundation, I'll be using a L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'm mixing the shades 208 and 211 and I'm just going to apply it to my skin with this Morphe Flat Foundation brush and then just buffing it into my skin with a Morphe Fluffy Foundation brush. The brush names will be linked below. These two are just not on the top of my head right now at this moment, girl. So just check the description box. Wow, a color match though. That's like perfect. Anyways, moving on, we're going to take the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. This is going to be our eyelid base for our eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply that and blend it out with the Morphe G34 brush. And just to get very close to my brow so I don't mess them things up, I'm taking this Luxie Beauty 227 just to further blend out that eyelid base. Moving on to the rest of our face, I'm going to take this very bougie Kevin Aquan Sensational Skin Enhancer Concealer. This is in the shade SX09, and this is a Luxie Beauty 211 brush. I'm just going to apply that to my under eyes and then blend it out with another Morphe brush. I like, I prefer using a brush to blend out this concealer rather than a beauty blender because it's just so thick that a beauty blender just doesn't do it justice for me like I prefer a brush and I just like the finish that particular brush gives I'm going to also apply it to my chin and then I just take that same foundation brush just to blend out the edges of that concealer on my chin so it blends seamlessly into the foundation I'm also going to apply the concealer to my forehead and down the bridge of my nose when I apply it down the bridge of my nose I like to keep it very Thin because it acts as guidance for my nose contour and it just snatches my nose. When I blend out my nose concealer, I just like to use a very smaller, precise brush just to keep the concealer in its place. I don't want to blend it out too far because then it'll widen my nose and then it won't act as guidance for my nose contour, so I like to keep it in its place. Moving on, I'm going to take this Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder um, to set where I concealed. So I'm just going to blend out any lines and then I'm really just going to pack that powder 
onto that concealer under my eyes because this concealer is super thick so you do have to make sure you set it well or else it'll still crease even after you put powder on so I just like to make sure I set it very well I sort of bake but not really because I'm not really putting a thick layer of powder I'm just really pressing that powder into my skin I'm also going to bring that powder onto my chin as well as on my forehead And then I'm going to go in with a more precise brush. This is the Morphe M208 just to set my nose. For the rest of my face, I like to set it with a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. I like to press it into my skin. I just love that skin-like finish it gives when you do this. I am avoiding my cheekbones because when I highlight, I want my highlight to look very wet, very glossy, very shiny very metallic -y. so i'm not going to put any powder on my cheekbone so they will remain wet looking throughout this tutorial and then i'm just going to take a morphe m176 just to dust off that nose powder moving on to contour i'm taking this black radiance contour kit and i'm taking these two shades with a morphe fluffy fan brush this is my new favorite fan brush by morphe it just applies contour and blends it at the same time it's just so fluffy it it makes applying contour so easy, so I'm just going to apply it to the hollows of my cheeks as well as my temples. For my nose contour, I like using the ABH Contour Kit and I like using the center shade because it is the lightest in my opinion. And I'm just going to take that Luxie Beauty 231 and contour my nose. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take the Morphe 24G Grand Glam Palette. I'm going to take the first two shades, Crystal and Glazed, with a Sigma E30 brush, and I'm going to use those to highlight my brow bone. For the eyeshadow, I'm going into the Morphe 39A Dare to Create Palette. I'm taking these four shades. The shade names will be down below, and I'm taking a Morphe E27, and those shades are going to act as my transition shade for my eyeshadow. And I'm just slowly starting to flick out that eyeshadow to sort of create a winged shape because it just complements my larger eye shape for eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take these three shades. Again, the shade names will be down below. I'm taking the Morphe E17. I'm going to pack that onto my lid and that's it for like eyeshadows that I will be using. So I'm just going to work that pigmentation up on my lids and then just work it into the crease and blend the transition shade and the crease colors together. And then I'm just going to slowly start winging it wigging it out and creating a wing like shape at the outer edge of my eye I just love this for every day because it's not your traditional brown shades it has like a coppery vibe to it an orangey vibe to it and I just I really love it I'm really loving this combo and then I'm just going to go back in with that Morphe, I'm sorry, Luxie Beauty 231 brush. We use that brush for our nose contour. And I'm just taking those same lid shades and applying that to my lower lash line to balance out the eyes. And then I'm just taking this Morphe G17 brush to diffuse and defocus the edges of my eyeshadow. Lastly, we need a pop in the inner corner. So I'm taking those same brow bone highlight shades with a Sigma E30 brush and applying that to my inner corner. But I'm doing sort of an abstract kind of vibe. So I'm just going to flick it up. I really like this shape for like inner corner highlights. It just adds dimension to my eye. It adds extraness to my eye. And it just fills in that something that's missing vibe that I always feel with minimal makeup. Next, I'm going to take this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and apply that to my lashes. You see how that inner corner just looks so put... You know what I'm saying? Like, it just looks so good. Okay. For lashes, I didn't know which one I wanted, so I was like, hmm, which one? I don't know. So I went with the Style Rhea. This is by Spy Glamour. They sent me these beautiful mink lashes. So I'm just going to apply these off camera. For highlight, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold because apparently they have more than one shade, girl. Um, this is a fan brush by Morphe, the M601 brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. 
You see how the highlight just looks wet, girl? Yes, that's why I didn't set it. Okay, for my nose, I'm taking this Real Techniques base shadow brush, applying highlight to the tip of my nose and the upper bridge of my nose. Then I'm also going to take some highlight and apply it to my upper lip cupid's bow area. For blush, I'm going into the Morphe 9B palette. I really like this palette. It's so pretty. I'm taking the Morphe E4 brush and applying those three shades onto my cheeks for a flush of color. For our lips, I'm doing my favorite nude lip combo at the moment. This is the Morphe Bite Me Color Lip Pencil. It's only $3, you guys. You guys have to try Morphe's lip pencils. They're so good. They're so creamy. Um, The lipstick is the Gerard Cosmetics Kimchi Doll Lipstick. And the lip gloss is Fenty Beauty's Space Suit Cosmic Gloss. And lastly, I'm just going to take this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set my makeup in place and settle all of the powders that I use. And this completes my Everyday Glam Makeup Tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to close out with a few slow mo so you guys can see my beats. But before I close out this video, I do want to give a post notification shout out to Veronica Lomley. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for supporting me and loving me and having my post notifications on. If you would like an appreciation shout out in one of my videos, be sure to hashtag notification squad or notification gang. After your comment, tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads as I do upload about two to three videos every week. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, always remember to serve honey and i will see you in the next video bye